Good day. This video is going to be about recharging alkaline batteries. Now, you don't want to recharge an alkaline battery because it says right here, I don't know if you can read that, caution, do not connect improperly, charge or dispose of in fire. Battery may explode or leak. Okay, with that out of the way, I've seen a few videos on YouTube how people charge alkaline batteries. I've been doing it for many years now, but I do it differently. I call this the techie nerd method because you need a multimeter, a pretty accurate one, and you need a power supply. Uh, this one's a triple output, but you only need one output and it needs to have a current setting and a voltage setting because we're dealing with low voltages and low currents you want to be able to set that properly now why would you want to recharge an alkaline battery I would say the main reason is because they last a very long time um, I've had the same set of alkaline batteries in this uh, B-Touch that I bought around I'll say 2001-2002 so I mean I've been using it occasionally I've replaced a few cartridges this is a brand new one and um, I've had these batteries in here since uh, yeah 2002 I don't know if you can read that this is a best before of March 2008 March 2008 and with my meter here the meter leads I'm going to measure the voltage right here let's see one handed 1 point 1.476 okay okay so 1.476 and they had a best before date of March 2008. Uh, they don't need charging right now, <clears throat> but I'm going to show you anyways um, how I do it. Um, I charge them in pairs, and I use something like this to make it easier. You could charge them individually, but I just do it in pairs because it's a little bit quicker. So I'm going to put the camera down, I'm going to set it up, and I'm going to show you exactly what it is I do, and um, yeah, stick with me. Okay, so I've got the batteries in the holder, it's not connected just yet. Um, the power supply, just going to put the current up, okay, you want to have the voltage at exactly 1.6 that's right 1.6 and that is the voltage of a fresh alkaline battery however we're doing two so we want to have it at 3.2 you get you get that did you get that okay 3.2 all right, now I've got the current set so low that it the, the power supply is not even so right there. It's barely um, it's at the lowest current setting. So now I'm just going to switch hands, and then I'm going to connect it up and switch my power supply so it's metering on <coughs> the current. So right now it's pushing about 50 milliamps. So this is in amperes. 50 milliamps into these cells. I'm going to increase the current just a little bit. So we've got about yeah, about just under 100 milliamps. So 90 around 90 milliamps. Yeah, it's bouncing around, but you don't want to put more then about 100 milliamps into, these are double A's by the way, 
so you don't want to put more than 100 milliamps into them. Um, otherwise, you run the risk of getting them leaking sooner rather than later. Um, there's another point I want to make about alkaline batteries, about charging them. And here's a little uh, graph I made. So when an alkaline is brand new, it's about 1.6 volts. And as you start using it, it's, you know, nominal 1.5 and it starts dropping, dropping. And after a period of time, it's useless, right? <clears throat> if you're going to recharge them, you want to recharge them at about the 1.4 volt mark because anything lower than that and it's you can you can recharge them but the chances of success are not quite as high and there's a good chance they will leak in a matter of time why that is I don't know it's just the chemistry these things aren't designed to be charged and when they're manufactured they don't charge them it's just the potential that's produced from putting the materials together so it's, uh, it is what it is. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to leave it for a while. Let's, uh, if I switch to voltage, see it's already, it's already pretty close to the 3.2 volt mark. And we started with about 1.47 volts, so it won't take long. All right, I'm going to charge these until I see a current, the current will drop. The current will drop to let's say, um, let's say about 10 milliamps. But right now we're seeing 100 milliamps. If when it drops to 10 milliamps, that's when you're going to take it off charge and um, let it sit for a bit, and then you can measure it, and you'll probably see that it's probably about um, 1.5 volts or a bit more. So um, this is what I'm going to do for all of the cells that I have in this. There's six in total. Okay, ran out of battery, but it's just as well. Um, you're able to see now the, the current's going down. So right now the current is at about 50 milliamps. I may have mentioned before that if the current is not dropping, so this is after about, I'd say 20 minutes. If the current is not dropping, then you have a problem. I would take it off charge. Um, maybe half an hour. Yeah, take half an hour. If it's not dropping, take it off charge. And um, yeah, just dispose of them because they are not accepting the uh, recharge. I find this brand of battery works pretty good for recharging. At least uh, they have been for this device. The the cheaper ones that uh, don't seem to like recharging. And there's another brand begins with E. They they don't like recharging either for some reason. So um, yeah, take that uh, take that information as it as you uh, as you wish. So um, I will we'll let this end the charge, and I'll get back to you. Okay, we're back. The current is bobbing at between 20 and 10 milliamps. We're going to say it's 10 milliamps. So the charge is basically done. So <clears throat> take it off, and I'll let those sit, and then I'm going to do the other ones. You can do the same process for even um, one of these. And these are double A's. You can do it on triple A's. Now for double A's, we used, what, about 100 milliamps. For triple A's, I would take that down to about eh, 60 milliamps. If you're recharging this, I'd say no more than 30 milliamps for the charge. And, um, yeah, essentially you're charging kind of like you would a lead acid or lithium battery however very low current and not for long <clears throat> all right now like I may have mentioned that if the voltage sorry if the current never drops then chuck the battery
Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video and got something out of it. Take care.